I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore how to find lowest common multiple. In fact, I will show you more than two methods to do it. We need to find LCM, the lowest common multiple or least common multiple for 6, 8 and 9. So we have three numbers here. One method is that we can list their multiples, right? So we have three numbers, 6, 8 and 9. So what I will do is I will list all their multiples and then figure out which is the lowest common multiple, right? So 6 times 1 is 6, times 2 is 12, times 3 is 18, times 4 is 24, and then we have 30, and then we have 36, and we have 42, 48, 54. Okay, so there are a lot of numbers to go. 60, I think I'll run out of space, and 66, and I'll go up to 72. Okay. Let's start with 8. For 8, we have 8 times 2 is 16, then we have 24, and then we have 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. How about 9s? 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 27, 27. 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 80 and so on. Well, we already have a number which is common to all, right? Which is 72. So, finding all the multiples can help you to find least common multiple, right? But that may take long time. Okay, so that is one method. Well, we did get the answer. That's good. The other method is prime factorization. Let me show you that method now. Which is 6, 8 and 9. We are considering three numbers. 6, 8 and 9. Let us find their prime factors. For 6, the factors are 2 times 3. For 8, it is 2 times 4. And I can write 4 as also 2 times 2. For 9, it is 3 times 3. Correct? So we get factors of 6 as 2 times 3, factors of 8 as 2, 2 and 2, and factors of 9 as 3 times 3. Now to find least common multiple, what do we do? We see that there are two type of prime factors. One is 2's and the other one is 3's. So what we do here is we check where are maximum number of 2's. So we find in 8 we have maximum number of 2's. There are 3 of them. So we'll write down 3 2's. Multiply them together. Now the second factor is 3's. We again see where are maximum number of 3's. We see, well, the maximum number of 3's are in 9. 2 3's. So we'll write these 2 times 3. So that gives you set of factors for our least common multiple, right? Let's multiply them and get the answer. So the answer in this case is 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9. 8 times 9 is 72. So you get the same answer. Do you see that? So you get the same answer by prime factorization. Do you see that? So first step was, first method was using multiples. The second one we used is factorization, prime factorization. Now, I will teach you another method of doing it and that is by division. So what we do is we will repeatedly divide the numbers. We have three numbers 6, 8 and 9. Now we can divide at least two of them by 2. So if I divide 6 by 2 I get 3. If I divide 8 by 2 I get 4. 
but if I divide 9 by 2, I do not get a whole number. So, 2 is not a factor of 9. So, in that case, I will just write 9 as such. Now, we can divide at least two of these numbers by 3. So, 3 is a common factor for two of these numbers and that is why we are dividing. Let's divide by 3. 3 divide into 3 one time. 4, no, 3 is not a factor. So, we'll write 4 as such. And 3 goes in 9 3 times. So, now 4 and 3, they cannot be divided by any common number. And therefore, that brings us to LCM, the least common multiple. So, the least common multiple for us will be equal to product of these numbers, which is 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 3. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24, and 24 times 3 is 72. So, you again get the same answer, right? So, that's the third method by which you get the same answer. Now, let me show you fourth method also. And this time, what I will do is, I'll make Venn diagram. So, I'm making for three numbers, three different circles. Okay. These are my three different circles. This is a very interesting method. Now, in these circles, I will write down all the factors of our numbers. So, let us say the first circle is for number 6. Okay, so this one is for number 6. Now, for 6, we have 2 and 3 as the common factor. And let us say this circle is for number 8 and the last circle, the blue one, is for number 9. Now, there are two factors of 6, 2 and 3, but 2 is also a factor of 8, right? So, what I can do is, I can write this 2, which is common to both 6 and 8, right? So, 6 and 8 common to, we'll write here. As far as 3 is concerned, 3 is common with 9, right? So, what I will do is, I took this 2 as common with 8 and I wrote it here. Now, the other 2, other 3 I should say, 3 is common with 9. So, where should I write it? It is common to 6 and 9. Between 6 and 9, I will write 3 here. So, I have taken care of 2 and 3. As far as 8 is concerned, we have already taken care of 1, 2, but there are 2 2's which are left. So, I'll write these 2's here in 8. Now, as far as 9 is concerned, we have already taken 1, 3, 1, 3 is left. I will write it here. Now, you can check. As far as 6 is concerned, the red circle, we have 2 times 3 as 6. 8, the green circle, we have 2 times 2 times 2 as 8. Blue circle is for 9, 3 times 3 is 9, right? So, we got all the factors in the Venn diagram. Do you see that? So, that is my Venn diagram, okay? So, this is using Venn diagram. Now, can you tell me what is the LCM using this Venn diagram? LCM is product of all these numbers. So, let's multiply them. What do we get? 2 times, 2 times, 2. These are 3 2's. And then we have to do these 2 3's, right? What do we get? 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 3, 24. 24, 3, 72. So, we get the same answer. Do you see that? So, in this video, you have learned four techniques to find lowest common multiple. The first one is just list all the multiples, find the lowest common. Second one is prime factorization, right? In prime factorization, find the prime factors and pick up the ones which has maximum of that type. Then we had repeated division. In repeated division, keep on dividing by common factors for at least two terms, right? So, two numbers, if you find something common, divide. 
and the last one is Venn diagram where you can place the factors in the Venn diagram and then find the least common multiple. Well, in this set of videos, I'll explore one by one each method in details. I hope by that time you'll be an expert in finding lowest common multiples. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thanks and all the best.